I often get asked in client sessions, how can I tell if the voice that I am perceiving or hearing is my ego or my soul? Well, I'm here right now in this moment to tell you that discerning between your ego and soul really doesn't matter. There is just one thing that you need to know, that you need to be aware of, that will help to clarify that voice in your head, that feeling in your body, so that you could start to navigate your journey, your life, with grace, with love, with excitement, with joy, and compassion. So I work with a lot of clients, and they seem to be wrestling with this idea that they are separate. Their ego is a separate thing. Their soul is a separate thing. And sometimes we'll talk about ego and soul and we'll reference them as though they are separate. But these are just different perspectives of the one thing. That is you, limitless, energetic being. We can perceive that voice as coming from one place or another or as being separate or being different, right? The ego is tied to programming and your soul is really an aspect or reflection of your higher self. So we perceive them as being separate, but we spend far too much energy trying to discern what that voice or the source of that voice, where is it coming from? Is it coming from the programming? Is it coming from my higher self? And we get all confused in the story, which ultimately pulls you out of alignment. So you start to feed energy to this idea that there is an ego, that there is a soul, and that you got to figure out what it is that is speaking so that you can make the right decision and move forward with your life in a way that's going to enhance your life, that's going to enhance your purpose, that's going to allow you to help others, allow you to create abundance. Whatever it is that you're looking for, we start by trying to find that voice that is the correct voice, meaning that voice that you want to follow. Well, there's just one thing that you need to know when it comes to discerning between your ego and your soul. Now, when you are traumatized, when you're triggered, and all of this dense energy is coming up to be experienced and to be felt, your mind is going to be going wild. It's going to be chattering. It's going to be talking. And it's going to be feeding you information. That is what we term or know or label as being the ego. That's the voice of the protective personality. That's the voice that is trying to keep you safe. Therefore, it's not going to want you to take risk. It's not going to want you to take sometimes action that is going to maybe expose you to some unnecessary risk or some situations that are uncomfortable or don't feel good. But nevertheless, we label that as the ego, like it's this separate thing. When in reality, what's really happening is your higher self, your soul's energy is moving through your body and it is being it is being translated by your traumas because the energy of your traumas that represents stuck energy in your body is wobbling or distorting that communication from your higher self. So as the energy moves up and it hits this, this denser energy, that message gets wobbly and it manifests out into reality as a wobbly state. Now, because that energy wobbled, because it was dense, it was moving more slowly, because it was created by lower frequency emotional states like anxiety and fear, protection, I'm not worthy, I'm not confident, I'm not safe in my body, safe in this reality, those types of things, the stories start to manifest in that perspective. So again, we label that the ego. So we look at that and we say, okay, is that my ego? Is that my soul? I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. That voice is really, really loud. It's telling me to do something, but I'm not sure if that's the direction that's right for me. So how do we determine what step or action we are supposed to take? Now, when we're dealing with thoughts and we're looking at the ego, a lot of time we forget about the feelings, forget about what's happening within the body, right? We have energy that's active. Maybe it's dense energy. Your divine energy is striking this density as it's moving through your central channel and it's wobbling and you're creating or manifesting these anxious thoughts, which is making you even more anxious, right? Well, that is showing you that you are out of alignment in that moment. 
okay? So what's happening is your divine energy is coming in and essentially it's being split up into these different aspects or different personalities, kind of like multiple personality disorder, right? So we have this aspect of us now that's created because that energy fragmented because it cannot move through coherently or seamlessly through your body because of your past trauma, your limiting beliefs, the dense energy, it's manifesting as this separate thing. Now, we know deep down when we connect, we feel that something just doesn't seem right with what this energy or this ego is telling us. So what you're being shown is that in that moment, you are not aligned. Your energy is not flowing uninhibited or unrestricted through your physical body. It's the same energy that's coming in. It's the energy of you, the multidimensional you, your higher self. It's moving through you, but it's being distorted by the dense energy, the trauma in your body. Therefore, the message or the voice in your head that we term as the ego is a distortion of your higher self, of your soul's voice your soul's energy. It's all the same thing, but because of the trauma, because of the limiting beliefs, because of the programming, we believe we're separate. Therefore, we create this thing called the ego, and when we're unconscious, the ego kind of runs the show, right? Well, really what that's doing is running your life based on these limiting beliefs and programming and traumas, all of these things that happen to you. It's your soul's energy that's moving through you and creating all of this, but it's creating it with a distortion. Think you've got this foggy lens over your eyes because you have trauma within your body and that is manifesting a, a, um, an obstructed reality, one that is out of alignment with your true destiny, with your true path. Now, this is all happening subconsciously, right? So we term that the ego. So we sit and we spend all this energy trying to figure out if that's the ego or the soul, when in reality, what we should be doing is realizing that if I can't tell whether this is the ego or it's the soul, then I am living from a space of separation or perspective of separation at this particular time. But we continue to expend energy to try to discern between the two. Instead of addressing the root cause of the problem, I am not aligned. I'm in a separate perspective. I am separated from my higher self. I've got my higher self. I've got my ego, and they're both, you know, giving me different information, and I don't know what I'm supposed to do because I can't tell who's who. Well, it's all coming from the same source energy. It's just being distorted as it moves through your body because of the density that you are holding within your physical vessel. Okay, so when we have an issue discerning, we are one or the other, we are in 3D land, perceiving ourselves as separate from our multidimensional, limitless being, from source, from your higher self, however you want to term it or label it, it really doesn't matter. So again, I ask you, how do we clear up that messaging so that we no longer have to ask, is this the ego or is this the soul speaking through me? What should I do? I don't know. We bring it back into the body. We realign, we get centered, we get anchored, we breathe into the lower chakras, we breathe into the root first, we get anchored into the body. We're taking energy out of that distorted mental field, getting it down into the body. Therefore, our divine source energy can move, it could come down through the channel, it could go deep into Gaia, bounce off, come back up through our root, uninhibited, and start to move up through the sacral, through the solar plexus into the heart space, okay? When we bring it back into the body, we start to feel centered. We start to feel connected to the body, to our higher self. We start to feel more aligned. So we had these two things. We had the ego and we had the soul, right? Ego and soul. And now they're starting to come together as one voice. We're starting to bring attention, consciousness, awareness back into the body by breathing into the root. We're breathing into the sacral. We're breathing into the solar plexus. I have a playlist of chakra breathwork techniques 
on this channel. If you have not listened to them and practiced with them, do so. You will realize that as you start bringing your attention, your awareness back into the body, the perspective of separation, the ego the versus the soul, starts to vanish. What is really happening? Well, energy is moving up into your gut, in your solar plexus, into your heart. You are starting to feel the resonant frequencies behind these messages. Energy is moving through your body more clearly. It's not striking density. It's not reflecting anxiety and fear out into your field. You're feeling more centered. You're feeling more anchored. You're feeling more grounded. You're feeling more intuitive, meaning as these messages, the voice starts to come up to here where you can perceive it, you can perceive the underlying frequency behind it. You know if something resonates with you or doesn't, you will be able to feel it. You won't have to try to discern, is this my ego? Is this my soul? From a perspective of separation, you will be more integrated. You will be more whole. You will be more trusting. You will be more in the flow. And what, was, what you perceived as the ego will fold into your guidance that inner knowing, the ego will then become the tool that is utilized in this 3D reality when you need to take action and get things done. So it will stop driving the car or running the show. You will know that your voice is more whole. Your higher self is speaking through you and you will no longer have to discern is this my voice, my ego? Is this my soul? Maybe this is some external thing that I'm picking up. Maybe this is some sort of a negative entity that's putting thoughts in my head. All of these things vanish because they collapse into the whole aligned you. You get a clear signal. No more distortions based on trauma. No more distorted realities. A clear signal comes through. It's like you ground into your body, you ground into the planet, that gets that antenna sticking up higher into the higher multidimensional um, fields and you start to tap into higher frequency knowledge and knowing, this is all aspects of you returning. They're moving up this clear central channel up into your brain where you can perceive it. Your left brain, your right brain are now speaking coherently. Information is passing back and forth. No longer do you have that perspective of separation. Is this my ego, my trauma speaking? Is this my higher self, my soul speaking to me? That all goes away. You receive information, you feel in your, in your heart, you know it is aligned with the truth of who you are and you utilize your ego to take action and assist you as your loyal, loving servant in this 3D space to help actually get things done. But no more will energy be going into discerning who is doing the speaking. If you're struggling with that, feel free to schedule a 15 minute session with me. I'd love to get on a phone call and talk to you about how I can help you navigate that, get aligned, get centered, and tap in to your higher self. It's truly life-changing. And if this video resonated with you, please watch this one next. Thank you.